Hey guys, so we're making another video on Roblox Studio, and in this video we're going to learn how to make sound regions. So, uh, for example, if you have like four maps and you want to add like four uh, different sounds when you enter each map, then this might be a tutorial for you. So, um, let's just jump right into it. So, uh, add the folder, name this folder sound regions, and then, uh, uh, insert, like, parts, the number of parts, uh, the number of parts, uh, depends on the number of maps you have. So, let's scale these parts really quick, and you don't, uh, and you don't have to, uh, make these transparent, and I'll tell you why later in the video. So, uh, now since we've got these sand regions, uh, uh, make sure to anchor them and turn the can collide off. And now name uh, the part sound one, and then sound two, and then sound three, and then sound four. So now since you uh, now since you named them, insert them into sand regions. Okay, so now uh, insert object local script in, uh, into workspace for now. Here it is. Uh, it was uh, it was somewhere in my files, and I can uh, and uh, and I accidentally uh, copy and pasted the wrong one. So now since you have that, change local script. Change the name local script into sound manager. And then insert a file into sound manager, a folder into sound manager. And then name it sound region. And then uh, add another folder to it, then name it sound one. Then uh, the number of files in sound regions uh, uh, depends on how many parts you have in the map. So, sound two, this is sound three, and this is sound four. Oh, uh, if you know, uh, uh, if you're really good at Roblox Studio, and if you know what you're doing, then feel free to change the name and budget the script too. So, uh, now, so uh, now, uh, let's search up some audio in the uh, toolbox. And then add in some songs. And then once, and then once you did that, uh, 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 it won't work unless you name uh, each of them sound. So name sound. So all of them are now named sound. And make sure to put sound manager in starter GUI. And this is the part where I tell you why you don't have to make it transparent. is because they all have it in the script. Uh, I made it to be in the script, so it turns out transparent for you. And it plays, uh, and it plays uh, whenever, and the song plays whenever you go into the part. Just like that. So, um, uh, so if you want to make it fully transparent, except in build mode, then go to sound manager and then uh, into the script, and you can see region transparency, and change point eight into one, and then uh, and then so after you put it to one, you know, uh, the whole thing will be uh, the whole thing will be transparent, and the and the player wouldn't know that he's running into a block when he's uh, uh, when the sound's gonna play. So, uh, so this is pretty much the end of the video. Hope, uh, hope this video made your, your life a bit easier in Roblox Studio, especially for the starters. And um, th uh, and make sure to like and subscribe. This is Sneeze Out Studios. Snooze out. <laughs> Run that bit up like a track, mm -mm. run that bit up like a track, mm -mm.